So switch one, chorus and the overdrive is alternating. And reverb, pedal number three is the block of vibrato. <laughs> So if I press this one, automatically I'm in distortion mode. Come back again. So hello everyone, guitar friends and pedal nerds alike. Keyboard Mac here and welcome to Keyboard Mac channel and in this video I'm gonna share with you how I install or how I connect this awesome but very affordable M-Wave Chocolate Wireless MIDI controller to my Headrush MX5 guitar multi-effects unit slash modeler. Now why do we need the M-Wave Chocolate MIDI controller? Well as you can see the MX5 has only 3 foot switches so you only have a very few or limited switching or assignment options. So here's where the MIDI input at the back of the MX-5 come into play. It gives you the option to add an external MIDI controller like this M-Wave Chocolate for more options and flexibility. And the good thing about this M-Wave Chocolate is that you can connect it wirelessly or TRS to TRS cabled or wired method. So that's a good thing. Well actually you can connect any guitar effects to this M-Wave Chocolate as long as it supports MIDI but not only that you can also connect this M-Wave Chocolate to your TV to your cell phone's app to control the apps and to the computer to control the guitar software, the guitar effects that's in your computer as long as it supports MIDI but what I only have here right now is the MX-5 so this is what I'm going to use to demo and since I haven't seen a video of the MX-5 and the M-Wave Chocolate together here in YouTube so I decided to make one. So this video is going to be divided or separated into three parts. Part one is going to talk about how to connect or how to control the MX-5 using the CC mode or the control change mode. Part two is going to talk about how to connect the MX-5 to the M-Wave using the PC mode or the program change mode. And lastly part three is how to connect the MX-5 with a wired connection using this TRS cable uh, going to the MIDI in of the MX-5 from the out of the uh, M-Wave pedal. But first of all, let's check the things we need. So obviously we need the M-Wave Chocolate as our transmitter and we're going to need a receiver. So this is our receiver. This is also from M-Wave. This is the MS-1 uh, MIDI receiver connected to the tape, I already taped this, but this can be removed. Uh, this is connected to the 5 pin, this one, to the 5 pin adapter of the MX-5 going to the 3.5 mm TRS. This will be connected here, and that is MIDI TRS. This will be connected to the MIDI in of the MX-5. And lastly, the very important part is the app, which will program the M-Wave Chocolate. So, without further ado, let's proceed to part one. Now, first of all, we're going to download and install the app because that's what we need in order to program the M-Wave. So, here in the kovave.com and click this download link. And now we're in the M-Wave website. So, let's just scroll down to the very bottom. As you can see here, this is the download app. We have the QR code. Let's take a picture of the QR code and so we can download it. So now that we downloaded the app to our cell phone, so this is the one, we're going to, whoops, we're going to click that one to install it. And let's click install. So it's done. So now here's the app in the desktop of our cell phone. So we're going to click it. And it says uh, CubeSuit. We're gonna click allow for the permissions. And as you can see, here is the foot control. This one represents the M wave, so it's in, it sees the M wave, but it's not connected yet because the LED is still blinking. So let's click that and click this one, the red button in the app. 
So now the LED is stopped blinking, so we are now connected. So as you can see, as I move this, uh, this one is the modes. As I select the program change, the one that display here it also change. So I'll go to B, see, because these are different modes also. Program change C. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, advanced custom mode. And as you notice, four buttons popped up. That's uh, that's the switches that will represent these four switches here in the M Wave. So as you can see in the MX5, uh, the MX5 uh, effects has 11 blocks. So you can turn on and off 11 effects. So here is the stamp mode that I made uh, that I can turn it on and off and it's already gig ready because if you're only just in this mode you can do anything you can do cleans and you can also do distorted stuff and you can also do guitar solos in just one program you just turn on and turn off the effects turn off the distortion turn off the delay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 we have 11 blocks that is represented here in the manual of the MX-5 as it says here in the manual so these are the 11 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this first block is 75. And the last block here, this one is 75. And the last one here is 85. So let's go ahead and try to program these blocks. So we're going to cancel that and look for my stamp mode. Now we're going to program this switch A. So let's click switch A. By the way, let's go first to, uh, let's not get too excited, let's get go first to the MIDI settings, which can be found in global, let's do it again, and let's click hit these three dots and go to global settings, and go to number two here, and this will be the settings for the MIDI, and as you can see here, this is the mapping now, as you can see here, I set the MIDI channel to number five. So I, I am in MIDI channel number 5. So take note of that, that you are in MIDI channel number 5. So that's the stamp mode now. So I want to, let's say I want to, this is number 1. I want to control this chorus pedal. So here in the app, <coughs> as you can see, it's defaulted to PC but where since this is a tutorial on CC, let's go to CC, let's click CC. So that's now in CC mode. And you have to data one, data two. So data one is going to be what is the number of the block. So the number of the block is 80. And in data two, we're going to put 127 because that's the maximum for MIDI. As, as you can see, you notice my channel here is one. But in the settings, I'm in 5, so let's see if it will work. Let's click save. And <clears throat> by the way, I did not connect my wireless, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to connect my wireless re receiver now. So I'm going to turn on the power now. I hope you can see this one, but it's blinking. It means it's not yet connected. We're going to exit the app. So I exited the app. So now, the one connected now is the M-Wave and the receiver. So let's see if, let's try to press. So nothing happened. So, why? Why is that? Because let's turn this off again. This is one disadvantage of the a wireless receiver because you need you need to turn off that if you not want to connect to the cell phone. Let's connect again to the app. So we're connected to the app now. And let's go to foot switch A. And let's change this to 5. Because my channel there in the MX5 is 5. Channel 5. So as long as I click that. So as you can see it's blinking. Because it's not connected, so I'm going to turn on my MIDI now. And as you can see, the blink stop. It means it's connected to the transmitter. So let's do that now. And So as you notice, see? Number 80, turn on and off. 
let's add a program here uh, let's go back let's turn off this now I'm going to add a pedal to switch A two more pedals uh, I think I'm going to choose this one the green overdrive and the distortion the black op distortion with the chorus so 77 put this in 5 and click 77 and this one 1 to 7 and 78 put it also in channel 5 so I have three pedals now controlled by switch number one so let's disconnect to the app and connect back to the MIDI receiver so I connected now the blink stop so as I press this now again so as you can see it's alternating because this one is turned off a while ago but if I turn that on now here manually so I have an option to turn three pedals together and we also have the option to alternate them so in situations where you're in the clean mode and you want to go solo you will turn off the chorus and turn on the overdrives I hope you get my point on that <coughs> and let's try to do more programs here let's try to program 79 let's add a tremolo or a vibrato this one I'm going to put in D so I'm going to select this switch D, switch D, set first the channel to 5, go to CC, so 79. We're going to add, uh, let's say, switch B is for my tap echo, 83, channel 5, and last we still have one vacant position let's just try the scrunch mode so I'm going to turn off the black op alone only uh -huh. channel 5 78 Let's turn on our receiver. So switch one. Chorus and the overdrive is alternating. Uh, as long as the chorus starts now, this number two is the tape echo. A reverb. And pedal number three is the block up. And our as you can see there, 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 and alternating. So let's try to test that one in audio. So now I'm in chorus mode only. The drives are off except the, the K drive is still included. So if I press this one, distortion mode come back again let's turn on the vibrato So let's put some reverb. So that was part one. 
the stamp mode or the CC mode or the control change mode. So next is part two. Just click the CAD valve and see you there.